The canonization of Dufu. Dufu. In the context of East Asian literature. In 1962, in commemoration of the 1250th anniversary of the birth of Dufu. Dufu 712770. Kajiro Yoshikawa. Dedicated a speech on the relationship between Du Fu's poetry and Japanese literature in the same year in the 17th issue of Journal of Chinese Literature. Published an overview of the studies on Du Fu's poetry from the Heian period to the Meiji period in Japan in 1976. Li Byongju. Li Bingchou Yi Yi. Published a monograph discussing Du Fu's poetry in the context of Korean literature. These events mark the beginning of modern academic studies of both the position of Du Fu's poetry and its significance within the realm of East Asian literature. Against the backdrop of the 21st century, when academic research characteristically places academic discourses about cultures within broader context regardless of nationality, race, and language, although the scope of discussion of the present paper includes the three main geographical entities of East Asian literature, namely China, the Korean Peninsula, and Japan, Chinese literature has been determined to be its focal point and such a decision was made on the basis of the extraordinary richness of Chinese literary materials, but it was more so, in light of the perception, which was generally held in East Asia before the 20th century, that Chinese literature was the source of all other literatures. From this general belief, it should follow that Chinese literary works canonized in East Asia represent the classics of East Asian literature.